What's up everybody? Today we'll be talking about my favorite souls like Wolong Fallen Dynasty as the new DLC has been announced and it is set to release on June 29th. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, that way you never miss another video. So the release date of the DLC has just been announced. It's the first of three DLCs that will be coming this year. The first DLC is called the Battle of Zong Huan. I'm sorry if I butchered that and let's see what they had to say about it. The first DLC will be available to play on June 29th, 2023, featuring the new scenario Battle of Zong Huan. Included will be new stages, difficulty level, weapon type, enemies and more promising an exciting experience for Wolong experts and novices alike. Check back soon for more information. Now what is really interesting here is that they're talking about a new difficulty level. Because that was one of the main issues I had with Wolong. Wolong is my favorite Souls-like of all time. I really really enjoyed it. And the reason why I liked it so much was because of the deflection system. It is very similar to Sekiro. You need to be deflecting enemies attack, but what's really interesting here is you can move the enemy based on your deflection. So if you deflect to the right, you will dodge around your enemy as you are deflecting. And then there are also some critical attacks where you can deflect and reverse the damage back onto the enemies. And on top of that, there's magic in it. Even though the magic is pretty superficial, it was still very interesting to play around with. So Wolong is a fantastic game and this DLC can really take it to the next level. Now let's talk about the flaws in Wolong in my opinion and how hopefully this DLC can address it. The main problem I had with Wolong was the difficulty levels. At the beginning, it's very, very hard. The first boss is notoriously hard. And then there's also a boss called Lubu, which is very difficult as well. But once you pass that threshold of about the halfway point, the bosses become very, very easy. And the reason why is because of the morale system. Now, the morale system works like this. If you are constantly getting hit and taking damage from critical strikes, your morale lowers and the enemies will be harder to beat, they will do more damage to you. If you are killing enemies without dying much, your morale gains higher and higher and higher. Eventually, you can hit up to level 25. And at that point, if you are level 25 and you're fighting an enemy level 15, you will demolish it. And that was the issue when it comes to the bosses. You could level yourself up to level 25 and fight a boss at level 20, and it would be very, very easy if you know what you're doing. Now, when you get to New Game Plus, the bosses are by default level 25, and then the difficulty really ramps up because you don't have that level advantage over the boss. Now, throughout the entire game, if you weren't into exploring and finding these optional flags that raise your morale level permanently, you could go into a boss fight severely underleveled, and then it would be very, very difficult. So it was an interesting approach to difficulty where you have to do some exploring, and if you are constantly winning without dying much, you will be able to beat the final boss of the stage pretty easily. But like I said, it made for some underwhelming boss fights towards the end. If you come in at level 25, it's a piece of cake. So hopefully they will address that in the DLC. Now, my only other criticism that I have for Wolong Fallen Dynasty was the enemy variety. It was a little bit on the low end, but it wasn't like Neo 2 where they could reuse some of the enemies of Neo 1. They had to build it from scratch, so I do understand that. However, with the three DLCs coming up, if they add a lot of enemy variety, I think we could have an almost perfect game at the end. So I have a lot of high hopes for this DLC. They are mentioning additional weapons as well. And it was really interesting how your playstyle depended on what you leveled up. Instead of having this traditional strength, dexterity, health, stamina leveling system, you had five phases where it was fire, wood, metal, water, and earth. 
On my first playthrough, I was mostly leveling wood and fire, and that's why I was scaling very well with straight swords and curved swords. So I'm looking forward to see what kind of weapons they add because it could definitely add some variety to the playstyles. Now, Wolong in my book is already an excellent game, but I have a feeling that these three DLCs will take it to the top. Anyways, that's it for the video. I'm definitely hyped for the DLC coming on June 29th. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section. Is it something you consider purchasing? What do you think about Wolong in general? Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.